Safe to say I need a new hose. Hey guys, it's Jesse with Lawn Life, and as you've seen in the intro, I'm having some serious problems with my hose. No, in all seriousness though, if you guys are in the market for looking for one of those expandable hoses, I would 100% say stay away from those things. They are complete junk. Um, I bought two of them last year. One lasted me about a month and a half and then it started leaking and then totally exploded. So I threw that away and then I had one left and then not even a month into this year, that one also exploded and started leaking. So I've come to the conclusion, do not buy those things. They're complete garbage, just a waste of money. So then obviously I've been in the market for looking for a new hose. Well, I've been seeing a lot of these retractable hose reels online and I figured I'd give it a shot. So I reached out to Sunny Day and asked if they wanted me to review one of their products and they said sure and sent this out right away. So there's a couple reasons why I actually reached out to Sunny Day. Um, one was the availability. So this particular um, retractable hose is available at Home Depot right now and it is also available on Amazon. So if you watch this review and you think that you really need one or want one right now, you can hop in your car, get go to Home Depot and have one in 15 minutes. And the other option is obviously most people use Amazon so you can get it delivered right to your doorstep. So I wanted to review this just because of the availability. Also, this is very comparable to the hose link that you see on everybody's YouTube channels. So I actually wanted to review this and compare it to kind of what I've saw from hose link online. So this right here is the Sunny Day 100 foot GKW series uh, retractable hose reel. So comparing price to the hose link, right now you can actually get this thing for $155 at Home Depot. I'm not sure if it's the same price on Amazon right now or not, but I know it's 155 bucks at Home Depot right now. So that is a very good price. And if you compare that to hose link, you're getting an extra 18 feet, which is 18% more hose. And also it's almost a quarter of the price less. So I think bargain wise with how much footage you're getting and the price, you really can't beat that. Now this actually has a half inch diameter hose instead of the five eighths that come with the hose link. So there's a little give and take with that. Now this is the first product that has been sent to me for free on my channel. And I just wanted to make something really clear before we get this thing started. Whether a product gets sent to me for free or I go out and buy it with my own money, I'm going to review that product the same exact way. I'm gonna give you the pros, I'm gonna give you the cons, I'm gonna give you what I like about it, what I don't like about it. Everything I would do is if I went out and bought this thing with my own money. So I'm going to be 100% transparent with you guys. I'm not gonna hype this thing up just because I got it for free. I actually wanna review these things 100% legit. So that way you guys are actually getting a good product review and knowing if you should buy it or not. Now, after saying all that, let's get into opening this thing. I haven't even opened it yet, so we'll do it right now. So there it is. 100 foot retractable hose reel from Sunny Day. All right, you got your instruction manual. Hose. Looks like it's already connected on the inside. From everything I saw, most people had to attach this already, or had to attach it themselves. This is attached already, as you can see. This is supposed to be six foot of hose to connect to your spigot. All right, so you get the actual retractable reel, and you get a sprayer. There's nothing really too special about the sprayer. It has a couple different settings, but it's your typical cheap plastic sprayer. So I wasn't expecting much out of this, but it is what it is. And here is the housing mount. Yeah, pretty simple. Basically exactly what I expected coming out of the box. So. I actually decided to put this on a 4x4 post instead of on my vinyl siding because I just didn't want to put holes in it and try to find the studs underneath the siding so we decided to do that instead. So let's go put this mount on. All 
All right, so when I installed this pole, I actually used the expanding foam um, from Home Depot. It's like 13 bucks. It's, it's more expensive than the, the quick creep stuff, but holy crap, does it work good. I mean, this thing's solid, not going anywhere. And it's way less messy than that quick crete and you don't have to deal with cement. So I would recommend using that stuff if you're gonna put a pole in. It worked really good. Now, as far as the retractable hose, it comes with a template to put on. And just a fair warning, this four x four hose is not wide enough for the actual mounting bracket. It's gonna be fine for putting in the screws, but I'm going to be pretty close to the edge on all of them, but if I would have known that I would have got a, a little thicker pole, but this will do. I am so glad I got this because it is blistering hot out here, man. It's been so hot and dry. We've had no rain. Sweating my ass off. Anyway, a few things to note about putting this on a four x four pole. With this template, it shows five holes. These two bottom holes will not fit on a four x four. It's uh, the four x four is not wide enough. So I only use these three for this top part. And it's pretty sturdy. I don't think it's going anywhere. I think this is more for mounting it to brick and things like that on, on the side of your house. Also for drilling the pilot holes, I used a 3 16th drill bit and that might have been a hair too big. I would go a little smaller than that. Maybe a 5 30 seconds or 11 64 if you're going to go into this 4x4 four four wood. But as far as that goes, it's on there good. I don't think it's going anywhere. So next step is going to be to basically just put this on and then connect the hose and we should be good. So let's try that out. Now this doesn't have handles like I've seen on the hose link and other models. There we go. All set up. Hole's not going anywhere, seems sturdy. I don't really see anywhere to get in this thing. Unless this comes off. I'm gonna have to look at the manual, but I don't really see anywhere to get inside of this in case something needs to be tightened. Yeah, it doesn't really tell you that there's a way to get inside here, so. It might be a pain if something's not connected right or something loosens up. Jesus Christ, people. All right, so we're gonna try this thing out. Let's see how it does. It has a little leak from here, but Almost every hose I put on here leaks. I think it has something to do with my spigot. Nothing's falling out of the hose reel, so that's a good sign. Let's see if you can see it. All right, let's give her a tug. It's a little harder to pull than I thought it would be. There we go. See how much power it has. Oh, that's decent. I'm not mad about that. It's hitting the tree over there. Yeah. This camera sucks holding it like this, but. Yeah. And we'll 
give her a tug back. Oh yeah, she gives a little pull too. Boom. Love it. I've been needing this thing, man. Really been needing something like this. As you can see, I got tons of localized dry spots because it's been so dang hot and my irrigation just hasn't been able to do it. Plus the seed head stalks are eyesore, so those are all brown, but as you can see, my neighbors are extra crispy right now. All right guys, my final thoughts on this. So, I'm just gonna give you the pros and cons of what I think overall. So let's just start with the cons. First, there's no real easy way to get inside here in case something breaks or starts leaking. So, it looks like there's a ton of screws you could take apart. I don't even know if those are screws. Yeah, it looks like there's, these are all screws that you'd have to take apart to get inside of here. So that would really stink if something went wrong where it started leaking or it didn't rewind and I had to go in there to fix it. There's no real easy way to get in there. Um, the second thing is they only gave directions for putting this on a br on brick on a house. So if you're putting it on a, a post or actual on your siding, the directions aren't very clear on how to do that. I mean, it's not hard to figure out. I mean, I figured it out pretty quick. These two bottom screws didn't work because this wasn't wide enough, but I mean, you can figure it out. It just doesn't tell you what size to drill the pilot holes and things like that. As far as the pros go, um, it's just a solid little hose. I mean, it rewinds every single time and pulls out fine. It's a little tougher to pull than I thought it was gonna be, but overall, man, this thing's pretty solid and it doesn't leak and it works well. It works exactly how it's supposed to. So I would say 100% I would go out and buy this thing. So. If you guys do want to purchase this off Amazon, I'll leave an affiliate link down in the description below. Otherwise, you can go to Home Depot and pick it up. Otherwise, I mean, that's pretty much everything. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave me a question below and I'll be sure to answer it. Be sure to subscribe and like this video and I'll see you guys next time on Lawn Life.